Okay. Give it a one. Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for coming to this uh, session. And thank you for staying late to this uh, last session. Of course, I know that you are staying because you love jQuery and not because you want the Xbox. So, uh, first of all, my name is Mohammed Musallam. I'm a dev lead working for uh, Nisma Advanced Technology. I'm also a community member of uh, Dev Lifestyle. Uh, today, we are going to talk about jQuery and how to integrate it with SharePoint. First of all, how many of you know jQuery? Used it before? Excellent. So only one uh, knows jQuery. How many one uh, knows JavaScript? All of us, right? Excellent. So as I said, today we are going to talk first about jQuery. We'll spend like uh, some time first exploring what is jQuery and the basic concepts behind G uh, jQuery. Then, then we will see how we can make use of jQuery inside SharePoint. Okay. So instead of talking, I'll jump directly into, in, uh, into the demo. Uh, First of all, what is jQuery? jQuery is a simple and fast uh, JavaScript library that simplifies many of the tasks that you will interact with when you build a web application. So it has support for implementing and simplifying many tasks like uh, dealing with uh, UI effects in JavaScript, dealing with uh, objects, uh, providing uh, functionality to manipulate the HTML page or the DOM uh, object model. So I will start with this demo. Okay. As we said, it's a JavaScript library, so the first thing we should do is to include this library. Of course, you can download it from uh, uh, jQuery.com. Uh, and if we look at this file, you will see that actually I have two versions of the JavaScript library. One of the development version. The development version contains some debug, uh, debug instructions. And the production version, which is you should use when you deploy your application. As you can see, the production version with the, uh, with the postfix min is very small. It's like 70K. So the impact in your web page will be minimum. And of course, many uh, companies like Microsoft and Google provide what they call a content delivery network for jQuery. Do you, anyone familiar with the term content delivery uh, network, CDN? Yeah, CDN is, uh, for example, if you take the Microsoft example, CDN is like uh, a set of connected servers or a set of Microsoft servers that host uh, Microsoft applications. And it is distributed around the world, something like what we heard about in Windows is OK? So Microsoft hosts this file on all of, the, all of, of its servers. So if you want to uh, reference the file, if you have an internet web application, internet web application, and you want to use JavaScript uh, jQuery, you should uh, reference this uh, jQuery file on the Microsoft CDN because it will uh, be uh, more uh, nearer to the, your customers. So as we said, the first thing is to include the jQuery file. OK. Uh, actually, th this is our web page, simple web page. Let's see we want to do something with uh, jQuery. Uh, the first thing is that jQuery has the concept called, uh, or it is using uh, something called CSS selectors. Anyone heard about C CSS selectors before? Okay, if you, if you work, did anyone work with CSS before? Style, style sheets? Okay, if, if you see a style sheet file, you can see that there are, in the style sheet, you have multiple classes, okay? You can uh, specify a class, for example, for all the dev elements, okay? You just write dev, and automatically, whatever CSS attributes you write will be applied to all divs, OK? Uh, you can also say uh, all the links inside the div. If you write div space A, this means that this style will be applied to all the, uh, the A elements inside the div. So these are, these are uh, the CSS uh, selection rules, and jQuery makes use of it. So, Let's try to do something here, and let's try to make, uh, as you can see, this is our page. We have multiple divs here, OK? Let me zoom in a little bit. Sorry. Okay. We have multiple uh, div elements. Let's say we want to, to change something in this div element. Let's try to change the background. So. 
The first thing to do in, in jQuery is to write what we call the document ready function, okay? I will write this and explain it later. Okay. Let's try to understand this. Uh, did anyone use Ajax before? You, you know, in Ajax you write uh, dollar sign, get, right? Yeah. And then you write the ID of your element. Here we just write dollar sign in jQuery, and here we specify your element. We can specify elements directly like document or window or whatever, and we can specify a CSS rule. So let me first uh, uh, continue with this. We are, we are saying uh, select the document element, which is our web page, and we are calling the ready function. The ready function is, is called after the document is, lo is loaded. So whatever you specify here will run immediately after you open your web page. So as you can see, it's a declarative way of uh, specifying the functionality. Instead of how I, I go to the body and say on load equal as the name of the function, I, I write it directly here, okay? So whenever uh, the document is loaded, I will execute this function. If, if you know C-sharp or anonymous methods, you will find a similar syntax like this, a declarative way of, uh, of uh, declaring new functions, okay? So whenever the document is ready, I will do the following. As we said, we need to change, let's say I change the background of all our devs to red. So what I will do is that I will select and write my CSS selection rule, which will be div, okay? So by doing that, I, I'm automatically selecting all the div elements in my web page. So I select all the devs and I will say, to change uh, some CSS probabilities, there's a function in jQuery called CSS. It takes two parameters, the attributes, so I will change the back ground, color, and the value, I will make it red, okay? Let's refresh this page. As you can see, automatically we selected all the divs in one line, we selected all the divs and changed the uh, background color. And as we said, this is, uh, CSS selection rule. So in CSS, you, you know that if you specify the hash and then uh, a string value, it would, it would automatically select all the, el the elements with this ID. So if I want only to change this div, the speaker, okay? So I will say hash speaker. It means that it will select this div and change its color. So as you can see, okay. And also in CSS, if you write dot, you specify a class name. So if I want to select uh, elements based on the CSS class, I will write dot and the, the name of the CSS class. So here, I have this div with assign the title class. I will say dot title, and automatically it will select this div, okay? And of course, you can combine multiple rules together. For example, I want, if you have multiple elements uh, with this class. Uh, let's say you have a div with the title class and also maybe a table with the title class, but you want only to select the div. So you will say div dot title class. It means select all the div elements which has a CSS class of title, okay? So also if you have multiple divs, in, uh, like in our page, we have multiple divs. And I want to select only the speaker div. So I will say select all the divs which has ID speaker, okay? So as we, as we can see, we can combine uh, multiple CSS rules together, okay? So, yeah, yeah, until he says in Visual Studio 2010, working perfectly with JavaScript, okay? So, uh, so this is our, some basic uh, uh, sel uh, Java, uh, jQuery selection rules. Let's uh, see more advanced rules, okay? This is a simple web page with uh, a list and a table, okay? Uh, let's see, we want to select some items on, on, uh, from this list. So what we will do is that, the basic this is the first thing you write in jQuery, document the ready. Call this function, it's like anonymous function. Okay, let's say I want to select 